Hi folks. So I keep getting comments on my videos about age discrimination. Either a lot of you think that I'm not getting a job because of age discrimination, or I got laid off because of age discrimination, or you think that you're not getting a job because of age discrimination or were laid off because of age discrimination. So I just think it's time to do a video about age discri discrimination. So I'm going to tell you my experience about it. So um, when I got laid off from my job after 12 years, I was given documents. And one of the documents was a breakdown of all the people who got laid off in my department. There were a total of 50 people who got laid off in my department and they divided it into two categories, people who got a severance and people who didn't get a severance. So there were 11 people who got a severance and there were 39 people who didn't get a severance. Out of the 11 people, which included me, who got a severance, only two people were under the age of 50. Out of the 39 people who, who uh, didn't get a severance, there were 20 people who were under the age of 50. Now, the people who didn't get a severance were made up of temp workers or um, uh, part-time workers. So they never really, they weren't full-time employees. So I think that uh, the reason why the company that I work for got away with uh, laying off so many older people as, as they uh, so many full time employees over the age of fifty is because they just mixed them in with uh, a bunch of temp workers and part time workers who were under the age of fifty. So there were a total of fifty people that got laid off. Twenty two of them were under the age of fifty, and most of those were were um, you know people who weren't even eligible for a severance. So when I saw that paperwork, I thought that that was really shady. And, um, you know, it gave me red flags. I thought I'm being discriminated against because of my age. However, as a person who got a severance, in order to get the severance, they make you sign paperwork uh, saying that you're not going to say negative things about the company uh, and saying that you're, you're never going to sue the company. So... Um, Nobody there really talks about age discrimination or or ageism because uh, even though they know that that's part of the decision making process because everybody needs their severance. I mean, especially if you're older, you need a severance um, because you don't know how long it's going to take you to find a job. I mean, that's that's sort of in the back of your mind, you know, Um Unemployment's a very gray area, you know, and um, and I, I have to tell you the truth. I never really realized that I was that old until I got laid off and then started job hunting. And uh, there was a uh, three months into my job hunt, I realized, oh my gosh, I'm going to really have a hard time finding a job. It shouldn't be taking me this long to find a job, and it made me realize my age. Um, but um, you know, I definitely think that um, age played a big part in me getting laid off. And I feel sorry for the people who still work there who are older because um, they know it's coming. You know, they know how the company is. The company uh, uh, laid off, lays off almost twice a year. And some of those people are in their 60s and they're waiting to retire and they're really getting close to retirement age and um they've got a they're just trying to make it to retirement age so the older you get the more pressure there is uh, there to to not get laid off the more worried uh, you become you know um so it, the whole situation there was sad so as far as interviewing is concerned i can tell that i'm experiencing age discrimination because they don't ask me questions really about the future I'm the person who has to ask questions about uh, um, the future, like such as um, what is the career path for somebody in this position, or, or I have to tell them what, what I see myself doing in five years. I'm the person who has to bring all that stuff up. They don't bring that up. And uh, you know, 15 years ago when I was job interviewing, that question would always come up about how I see myself in the role, um, what do I see, see myself doing in 10 years? 
you know, what, what's my career path? Um, what do I, how do I see my career path? None of that stuff comes up anymore. No questions about the future. So I, they are taking my age into consideration um, during the hiring process, you know, and like I said, I have to bring up all that stuff, you know, um, and I do it because I want them to know that I'm really interested in the job and that I, I you know, I do plan on having a future there. Uh, them not bringing up those questions makes me feel like they don't see me having a future there. Also, well, sometimes I think when they say I'm overqualified, they're really telling me that um, you're too old <laughs> because they already know how qualified I am. I mean, I've sent them a resume, they chose me for an interview and they've interviewed me and suddenly I'm finding out uh, days later that I didn't get the position because I'm overqualified. I think that, you know, they really, they knew that I was, how qualified I was before I was given the interview. So to me at my age, the term overqualified means you're too old for the position. So, um, you know, that's, that's what I've noticed most about my job age discrimination during the interview process. Now, also, I have friends that got laid off from the same company that I got laid off uh, from. Um, a couple of them have been laid off now for two years and they still don't have jobs. And they've tried and um, they keep talking about age discrimination. Everybody who's my age, who, who's going through what I'm going through right now, knows that age has something to do with it, you know? It's not a bunch of people trying to make excuses. It's, it's just a fact. So um, I guess if you're going to, to those people who judge people like us, wait till you're in our, our shoes and, um, you know, see what happens. See, um, because it's pretty noticeable uh, when it does happen. Um, you just get an over, you get that feeling uh, that something else is going on here. And there's only a few things that could be going on. With me, it's age discrimination or weight discrimination. So, you know, anyway, those are my thoughts on um, this subject. If you um, like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And also, um, you know, comment some more about your experiences with age discrimination. I'd like to, I, I read all your stories and I'd like to uh, listen or uh, read more of what you have to say. Um, anyway, y'all have a good day and take care of yourselves. Bye.